Hello there, and welcome to Game of Thrones. We are back, House of the Dragon, episode two, The Rogue Prince. Well, the Rogue One. Yeah, the Rogue One, the Rogue Prince. Whoa. Rogue One re-released, this show has the Rogue Prince. It's a rogue kind of week. It's a rogue kind of month. Yes. And the prince sure has gone rogue. Just a little. One could say. Just a little. Joining me as always, the Sith Hawker on Naomi. How you doing? I didn't think of anything witty to say. Typical, no. <laughs> <laughs> Typical femoid. And it is I, the Jedi Holocron Tyler. I almost said the wrong word. You're going to one day. Just just embrace it and start calling yourself the Tyler Holocron Jedi. Just, yeah. That arc needs to begin. I'm not a big fan of that arc, so I won't let it happen. But what did you think, Game of Thrones, Episode 2? We are back. Yeah. You have no thoughts. No, I have thoughts. It's hard to condense my thoughts into, like, a one little thing without just saying it was good. I'm trying, okay? Are you, though? I am! It's so <laughs> difficult to, like, summarize your thoughts in a very brief way without falling into rants and, like, discuss in, like big discussions while That's we're in true. the intro. That's what I'm here for. I'm taking this thing by the horns and making sure... So I don't know what else track. to say when you ask what I thought of it without delving into, like, a full-on conversation while we're still mid-intro. That's all I'm saying. Did you like it? Yeah. yeah you could but that's that. what I say every time. No, you said it's good. You could say, I enjoyed it. Those literally... So swap up the words. Those literally mean the same thing. I mean, just because something is good doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. I enjoy bad stuff, so they're not the same thing. I mean, I also enjoy bad stuff. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. We um, all like bad things. Not not I. I'm a connoisseur, a tastemaker, oh, some would shut say. The fuck up. <laughs> No, this episode, very good. Not as action heavy or like big, like traumatic sequences of watching a <laughs> birth, which, and just like fights and pretty tame compared to the last episode, but a lot of, a lot of politics and intertwining storylines, the whole wife storyline. A lot of intrigue. Yes. Political intrigue. The beginnings of what seems to be a war to come. The beginnings of uh, pedophilia. No, that didn't happen. Uh, yeah, but... Not yet. Yeah. We, we, we got the big reveal. Which I, w I knew because I was looking at... Um, I saw Targaryen bloodlines on Twitter. So I knew he was going to marry Alessant. Alessant? Or Alessant? Alice. Alessant. Alessant. And it was so funny. I'm like... Because you were... It was like we... I wasn't squirming because I knew it wasn't going to happen. Oh. Of them trying to get him to marry the 12-year-old daughter of... What's their name? Val. It's kind of like Valyria. I don't remember. But I'm like, god damn it, this is so gross. Ugh. Man's like 65. Yeah. So thank god that didn't happen. Yeah. I mean, it's still a tr it's still a minor that he's marrying, but at least it's not like a literal child. Yeah, that was a reveal. I didn't realize they were only fifteen. Yeah, they revealed that in this episode. I'm like, oh, okay. I thought they were twenty. I mean, in real life, yes, but no. Yeah, I meant I thought their characters were twenty. Yeah, no, probably because they're played by twenty somethings. Yeah. The yeah. So still, still going underage, but at least it's not as bad. So <laughs> gross, though. Still. <laughs> Still, uh, uh... Yes. Foul. See, this is what happens in fucking, uh... <laughs> this is what... Uh, this is what happens in medieval settings that ends up being the fall of empires. Hmm. Keeping everything too in the family, too bloodline heavy, and too... Gotta marry the minor. Yeah. <laughs> too gross. Yes. Yeah. This episode was also, like, again, really fucking pretty. Yeah. So many cool shots. like Dragonstone. Dragonstone, the fucking them, and the the Sept, I think it was, and just everything is With fucking gorgeous. Billion candles. Yeah. I love that scene so much, just because of that. I mean, Dragonstone especially was like, holy shit. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. It's nice to see more 
occupied, even though we really didn't see much of the other than the outside in the same room we've seen before <laughs> of Dragonstone. But it was one of those things where you see it and you're like, oh, oh, I know where they are. I saw John on those steps once. Yeah. You see the room that Danny sat in, and it, you're, it makes the wires connect in your brain. I wonder if we're gonna see him build his own that that throne that was in there. Oh, there was a throne in there. Yeah, wasn't Danny there? had the th- the. The, um, was it there when they got there, or did Danny build it? I doubt she built it, but she wasn't there long enough to have time for that. I feel like they were there for a little bit. I mean, but they had priorities. They were. She was trying to take the... Hey, making a statement is a priority. Yeah. Even if that statement is only to your supporters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I doubt it, though. I could see Grey Worm making her a throne. <laughs> but he wouldn't avenge her. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. I want to see him, like... Make the throne. Yeah, the, yeah, the Dragonstone throne. Then it's a game of multiple thrones. Whoa. <laughs> and I guess there have always no, been... No, there's only one throne that matters. No, but there have always been multiple thrones. Yeah. I guess. Didn't, didn't fucking Theon's people have a throne? Yeah, every kingdom has their own throne. There's so many... Like, kingdoms. the guy at the end when he was talking to Damon was talking about, like, his throne. Yeah, the, 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 what was it? Like, the, the fucking sea husk throne? Southern Wood what? Throne, yeah. I Driftwood. Saw, Driftwood Throne, yeah. What, a, <laughs> what like, a belittling name for your throne. Right. Just a piece of fucking Driftwood. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things, you know, there's, like, a billion lords, so it's, like, yeah. do you even really count if you're a lord? Like, you're not that special. No. Everybody's got a throne. You need to have the throne. The throne of thrones. The iron throne. The one that's going to kill the man because he keeps cutting himself on it. He keeps fucking cutting himself. I did not enjoy seeing all the maggots slash worms uh, eating at his hand. I didn't enjoy seeing crabs eat people. I'm very intrigued by the crab man. I think he's going to be a cool like <laughs> villain guy. for. He looks like a demon. I know. I was When I was looking through for I was in the bathroom before this taking a dump. Thanks, man. Big dumpy, and I was like, I'm gonna look for our thumbnail while I was doing it, because I knew what I wanted in mind, and I saw a picture of, like, a from, like, a thing of, like, a fuller picture, like, a different picture of his face, and I don't know what is the crab guy, but he is, like, I don't know if, like, that, whatever it is, it seems like it's, like, I don't know how it got attached to his face what it is. (laughs) Yeah. He looks scary. He looks like a demon. Honestly, that shit was fucking visually pleasing. Just like the crab land. It looked like spooky and like I don't haunting. If, and I don't know if I would describe it as visually pleasing. It was more visually discomforting. But it was. It looked good. No, yeah, it looked good, but it, that's why it disturbed. Yeah. <laughs> it's power. I just think pleasing is not the best word to describe it. No, I like things... It was well composed. I, th- I like things that are hauntingly beautiful. I don't. To me, that doesn't fall into the category of hauntingly beautiful. Watching people getting eaten. No, but yeah. <laughs> Visually, it was like 4K, 60 frames per second. It looked good, you know. I mean, yes, but it's people <laughs> being eaten by crabs. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah. Crabs. So, so we got the um. We finally got the um intro sequence mm-hmm. which I also thought was visually pleasing <laughs> just using the same theme I mean what else are you going to do it's game no of I agree like everyone's going to compare it it's iconic everyone loves the theme who's going to be mad about this you hit the situation where it's like okay well we peaked with the theme song and anything we do is just going to seem lesser it's at, It's going to be that bit of nostalgia too when you start up the episode and you're like oh game of thrones we're yeah. back and then it's like we're in the new story. And, and you have the weird, on. like... This intro is definitely more, um... What's the right word? Like... <laughs> just, like, just like shit happening. <laughs> no, the other one had a lot of shit happening. No, but that's what I mean. It had a lot of shit happening, but it wasn't, like... In, in Game of Thrones, it was, like, a map. Yeah. Whereas this one was just, like, map, blood. Yeah. yeah, just, like, a blood river flowing to the... Abstract. Target. That's the word. Yeah. It was, it's way more abstract. Mm-hmm. That is true. You don't really know what, like, the blood, it's just flowing. Yeah. It was cool as hell. I'm, I like that it's abstract. Yeah. Because it was very different. Because, <laughs> like, the, the first series was very map. Yeah. Map. Yeah, I liked that um, Rhaenerys had a little stool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Yeah, so she could see over the... Really short. Yeah. And I like how she seems to only be the, 
I like the um, dynamic of her being so young and like not knowing how the politics works, but like, like I'm gonna make the logical choice, not worry about what family I'm pleasing, and I'm gonna do what's right for the kingdom and my dad. Like that's yeah, like very much not being aware of the politics, but also like making the logical and choice. making good points. But they're like that might upset some lord that I don't care about who gives who's important to the throne. That's you it's know a good dynamic. Like I like I said, that's where that's where all medieval empires fall apart is when they get too Caught up. centric about that. Yeah. Like how are you gonna have a fucking knight captain who's never fought before? Yeah. <laughs> what good is that gonna do? Mm-hmm. You need someone who's actually like survived to know that they're like at least decent at combat. Yeah. If you want them to defend your life. Exactly. Yeah, I liked that she was just instantly like, has anybody here actually, like, fought before? And just, like, pushed everyone else away, not even listening to any of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck the politics. Yeah, fucking get shit done. I always... I always Renaris. Well, Renaris. Is it Renaris? Renaris, yeah. Renaris, okay. Yeah. It's so weird, too, because the and other the, lady has such a similar name. Yeah, it's like Reyes, or... It's like, it, like, has just, like, a couple letters taken out. yeah. Who was on some? Uh, who was doing some snarky shit? No, which I at first I it for it started snarky. Yeah, I think she was well intentioned. The more because we thought it was like, oh, she's trying to worried about her daughter getting married to the king and not actually caring about like what her rea- how she's going to react to it. But it was just very like I, it, I get you know sometimes you got to be blunt. It just felt very condescending. Yeah. But also that condescension comes from being in a very similar position, I guess. Being the queen that never was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The queen that never was and the queen that never was part two. <laughs> they have almost the same name. Same hair. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll, I like how in the the Thrones universe, uh, your bloodline completely determines your hair. Yeah. One, with 100% certainty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because they keep it all, keep it in the family. <laughs> yeah. No, but even then, like, just having that like perfect one hundred percent accuracy is really funny. Whoa, the Starks had a redhead. Boy, they Ka- did. Callan have... had red hair. Yeah, they had like a, a yeah. They're the ones that don't keep it in, you know. Yeah, because they didn't. Yeah, because they're the good guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ned didn't care about the politics in King's Landing, so clearly. True. That's what got him killed. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised that the king is still alive. No, he's gonna be wrong. I, I thought for sure he was gonna die, like, early. No. I thought that's what was gonna trigger the war. I think he might die probably by the end of this season. And then it'll trigger, like, Rhaenerys and Damon, like, versus Damon yeah. kind of stuff. But I thought that was going to be like early. Yeah. Once we saw the pus coming out of his back, I was like, "Oh, he's not long for this world." Yeah. Just if enough. He, if, he, if he can go like a whole season, that's pretty good. He just needs to live long enough to create more conflict between all of them, like by marrying her best friend and and pissing everyone and off. pissing everyone off. Yeah, I don't. To be fair, I respect him trying to keep the peace, but like this is probably the first time since. In his obviously, this is the first time in this reign where he's had significant conflict, and also the king before his reign was also a time of peace where there was no conflict. So he's not very much experienced seeing conflict and know how you deal with it properly. I mean, yeah, I don't know what the the solution like. There is no good solution there. Yeah, right. You either piss off people and make a lot of enemies, or you marry a twelve year old. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Those are the options. Yeah. Really kind of fucked there. I mean, I guess you also have the option of just saying fuck it and not doing that, but then you'd have the kingdom turning against you. Yeah. It also kind of sucks, too, because, like, do you know who the real bad guy in all of this is? The Hand of the King? Yeah. Because I think the king thinks Allison actually likes him. Yeah. And we, and I know every time you see her messing with her nails, you screw, like, you scream because you're like, 
Oh, it's because you don't like the nails. I thought it was because you hate seeing her, like, you know she's, like, doing it. Like, it's like a coping mechanism for her. I mean, that uh, that also is really sad, but per- yeah. particularly the, like, nail stuff, when people are, like, picking at their nails, yeah. it, like... It, it's one of those sensory things for me where it just, like, freaks me out. Yeah. And now it's going to ruin Allison Renaris. Did I say that right? Yeah. Renaris. I was Renaris. Renaris' relationship probably with her for a while, if ever. It sucks. Yeah. I just wish we would have maybe got a little more. I'm sure we'll explore it more. Like, uh, like more their friendship. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, I was honestly, I thought we were going to get our first flash forward in this episode. Because unless they do like maybe six episodes of flash of the like of them younger and then they flash ahead. Mm. Which is really everyone's the same actor except the two, like except the girl Alyssa and Renaris, yeah. So I mean to be fair, they are fifteen. Yeah. You do change the most in appearance when you're young. Because I know the other ones are in this season, so I thought they'd be going back and forth. I wonder if we get that next week, or... It'll be interesting to see what they do with that. I liked Allison's dress a lot. Yeah. Not really relevant, but I just really liked it. I mean, everyone has fire fits in this show. Yeah, I think... Like, her... the, like the fucking costume design in the show is impeccable. Yeah. I liked her fit the best. Yeah. I also liked Damon's uh, woman's outfit. Dress. Yeah. yeah. And of course, Renaris looking like Danny with her yeah. dragon riding outfit. I'm scared because they're making us love her, and I'm I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. You're afraid. after Danny, even though like I stand by Danny 100. <laughs> percent But like, I just, I'm afraid. Yeah, I did not. I like how her dragon is like so much smaller than Damon's. Yeah, I like they're all different, which is cool because they they like they I mean, hers were, is younger. Yeah. And they're all, they all have had more room to grow, and they have all different ages, and because yeah. we're used to the dragons that were stuck in a fucking thing for, like, ever, so they, they didn't really grow properly. Kept in the cave? Yeah, or wherever that was, and once they got to that city. Yeah, they were in, like, the temple. Yeah. Like, underneath it, and then they started dying. <laughs> well, just the two of them. Drogon was out, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, I don't remember. I don't know. I was watching Game of Thrones clip compilations relatively recently, and there were only two of them when Tyrion went, Tyrion to, see him? went to see him, yeah. Yeah. And they said Daenerys was gone, so I assume she was gone on Drogon. I don't remember. Probably. I know Drogon was her favorite. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it was her dream. Very clear parental bias there. Yes. Also, can we talk about the names of these dragons while we're on this topic? Yeah. Because I learned last week of listening to a podcast that Damon's dragon is called Bloodworm. Bloodworm. Which is fire. And I don't know whose dragon Dreamfire is, but they said one of them was called Dreamfire with a Y, and I'm like, that's fire. Yeah. I love it. Literally, that that's fire. It was Dreamfire's egg, who was, which was going to be gifted to Balon, which he stole. And then I love how she just knew, too. She said, what egg was it? Well, I love how that's what got the king to finally yeah, like, do something. This. Like, oh, what a fucking slap in the face. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of Renaris's dragon? I do not know. I can look it up real Yeah, quick. Google it. I don't think hers is Dreamfire, but... No, I, th- I would assume Dreamfires was her mom's. Oh wait, it's isn't it Raynara? I don't know. Look it up. Yeah, Raynara. That's the name. I think Renaris is the other lady. Well, I thought her. I thought she was Renaris. Everybody's names sound the same in Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. Okay. Yeah, it's Raynara. Raynara. This is Raynara. She is Raynara. Oh, that's the actress who is going to be older, Raynara. That may okay. So, so now we know that if anybody watches this video and comments on it, we know they didn't make it to the nineteen minute mark where we address that. That we've just been calling her the wrong name this whole time. Uh, oh no! I think we've just been calling her. Rain, what we've we been calling her, Rainaris. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the other woman. Yeah. So you can tell. God damn it! You can tell if anyone comments on it. You know they didn't watch the whole video when they made that comment. Yeah. It's, you know... I fucking hate that I've seen the family tree. (laughs) I'm glad that I haven't. (laughs) 
You looking at the Wikipedia? I'm looking at the dragon. <laughs> yeah. Her dragon's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what the fucking name of it is. Yeah, I don't remember. They said it in the first episode. I'm afraid to go through her fucking Wikipedia page. It doesn't come up when you just Google what's the No, it was... <laughs> it's Princess Renella. A mil... Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not going down this wiki. I already learned more information about her than I would like to. Her name, is, her dragon's name is something. Yeah. It, it, it's probably not as cool as Bloodworm or Dreamfire. <laughs> yeah. Bloodworm looks so cool. He does. More like serpentine. Mm-hmm. Very fitting for a villain to have the Sith serpent dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, it is funny... That, like, the Hand of the King goes to Dragonstone. And, like, it's a good idea to not let the king go there, obviously. Mm -hmm. But it is kind of funny to go there and expect, like, to survive a fight when Damon has a fucking dragon. Yeah. <laughs> like, what were they thinking? But, like, I mean, there's no other real option. Yeah. You're not gonna let the fucking king go there. That's suicide. Mm -hmm. But, like, man... At that point, don't even bring swords. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, Renard was the only one could, that could get her to get who, who could get that egg back. You know, he wasn't giving it to that hand. No, he couldn't. He didn't stand a chance there. I, I was ready for them them to all die. Honestly. Yeah. I thought. I thought immediately when like everybody drew their swords, I was like, "Well, the fucking dragon's gonna come and just fire breath all of the 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 hands guys." Yeah. And then I saw the other one in the class. I'm like, "Fuck." The, they have a side dragon who's coming up to do it. I wasn't expecting it to be Rainara, but just because of like the perspective of it when she was coming up, I thought it was about to be like oh uh, like a uh what well, what was the big drag the Balerian? Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a big dragon <laughs> when like the clouds were getting like broken up. No oh, yeah. I was like, Oh, this is gonna be a big fucker. This be fucking monstrous. The Balerian's head was like the size of the other dragons. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to see that dragon. I want to see Valerian one day. The dragon that's dead? The one whose skull is in the red heap. <laughs> yeah. Because its head is fucking huge! Mm -hmm. I want to see what that fucker looked like. Yeah. That would be cool. That's like the size of the dragon that's on like the, the poster, or not the poster, like the background for this show. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to a little... <laughs> little Renera. Renara. Renara? I said Renaris again. <laughs> It's very difficult to keep track. Targaryen names are all the same, and eight people share the well, same name. Well, I mean, it's name. not hard to hear. I know her name. I just keep saying it wrong. I mean, for <laughs> me. Yeah. And I'm pretty good with characters' names in fiction, but they all have the same name, and they all, like, like 40 people have the same name. How, like, how many Aegons do you need? Yeah, well, what was John? Was he, like, Aegon the 10th or something? I think the 4th. Or the 45th. <laughs> Regardless, there's a lot of them, and they all have either just, like, an A name, or they all have, like, a, a Nis at the end. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited, though. I just wish I could watch the whole ten episodes. I just want to watch it for ten hours straight and just live in this world forever. Also, Valyria being built in a volcano... In a volcano? Is that what they said? That's what he said. That's metal as hell. He was like, it was built in a volcano. That's probably why that fucking, their steel so good, Valyrian steel. And it's like, my only thought is, what do you do if it erupts? <laughs> I mean, it clearly did. Valyria is gone. I thought it was gone. I thought it was lost to, like, war. I don't know, but maybe that too. Maybe one day the we'll see The double combo. It. I would love to see Valyria one day. His little model of it looks cool. Yeah. I bet if we do, it's like in one of the animated shows. Yeah, I'd, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. I feel bad for uh, Alyssa. Yeah. <laughs> She's got... That's pretty rough. Yeah. I, I, yeah, because we really don't see, like, her... We don't really sit with her enough to, like, know how she's feeling about a lot of this stuff. I'm sure she's not into it, I mean, but she based is, on the nail thing. Yeah, she is like, destroying her fingers. But, like, damn, it fucking sucks. She's gonna lose her friend probably over this, and it's gonna fucking... 
Im- this family's about to implode. And I, I still had canon that they're uh, in love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Allison and Renera. I, I support that. I have the, uh, how people instantly ship when a man and a woman are together. I have that, but with women. Makes sense. <laughs> gotta fight fire with fire sometimes. <laughs> lost, lost her, you gotta, she has to now go and fuck her lover's dad. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Yes. Game of Thrones be very gross. You know, maybe, maybe the dad was making a tactical choice. I mean, he was, regardless, but maybe he's making a tactical choice because, not to be too gross, but she could have a kid right now. Yeah, that's and definitely he's why. covered in infections. Yeah. <laughs> he knows he is not long for this world. Mm-hmm. Putting his hand in a bowl of maggots. <laughs> gotta love, gotta love medieval medicine. Yeah. Put your hand in this in this bucket of maggots. They'll eat the flesh off of your hand. It's very clear that that's what's important to him, though. We established that in the first episode. So that's probably why, too. And it feels less line. gross for him, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, it definitely... At least he kind of called out, like, but well, she's 12. Yeah, at least he had morals there. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not going to survive until <laughs> well, you can pop one out. Yeah. And also, you're 12. And also, you're fucking 12. Yeah. Uh, gross. Uh, you gotta, gotta love child weddings. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was sarcastic. I know. <laughs> I'm just making sure that's clear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. At least Damon got to marry an adult. I, have we seen Damon's wife? No. Other than the one he was... Unless it was the one he was leaving with at the end of the last episode. No, that's that's the woman that was at Dragonstone. Was it? Yeah. Who's his wife then? We haven't seen her, but he said he hates her. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not surprising. Like, yeah, all arranged, these arranged marriages yeah. are... Arranged marriages. From bloodlines and family. I, like, actually really hate, like, monarchs and, like, shit like that. Yeah. But I also love it for storytelling. No, that's exactly... You're literally describing... My exact opinion, because monarchs are fucking atrocious, and that's exactly why they make good stories. Yeah, because they're so messy, broken, and broken, and gross, <laughs> and just an awful way to have a system work. Yeah, but that's what makes good conflict. Yeah, it's good for the content. Like literally, literally, the bloodline shit is what got Rob Stark killed. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason he lost. True. It's because of bullshit bloodline shit. And arranged marriages to people that you <laughs> fucking hate. Yeah. But it makes good content. It's great for the content. <laughs> great for the content. Even if it's sad and fucked up. Oh. But that's just how medieval times are, you know? Yeah. It's truly rough. What was it like? What's it like? 50% of people died before like 25 or some shit? Yeah. Like... You just drop dead for any reason. Yeah, that's why the moment that man gets cut, we're like, shit, is he gonna die? Yeah, there's just no medicine. <laughs> yeah, no, like, cleanliness of anything. I hadn't thought about that before this series, but yeah, how do you sit on a throne and it, and like it, that's made out of swords and it doesn't cut you? The flat parts. You wear clothes. I mean, still, it's made out of swords. Yeah. I mean, they found a way. They dull over time. Yeah, oh, yeah, they probably cut swords. They're not sharpening the fucking swords around the fucking... <laughs> That's why it only cut somebody in the past here, and no one in in uh, the original series. Yeah. The swords have been dulled by this king just cutting himself over and over. Yeah. He's doing God's work for the future generations of kings. Also, have you ever thought about how fucking uncomfortable the Iron Throne looks? Not even accounting for the jagged parts. Nah, because it looks cool. It looks cool, but it's so, like, bumpy. I feel like any throne's not comfortable looking. No, there can be comfortable thrones. Like, with, fucking like, Boba Fett's throne doesn't look comfortable. Like, I mean, yeah. Zenarius' throne from Dragonstone doesn't look comfortable. But you can make a comfortable throne. Palpatine's throne didn't look comfortable. I bet his was comfortable. I mean, anything's comfortable. He was on a fucking robot. <laughs> 
Oh, you meant T. Ross. Yeah. What other throne room? Might, is there? Does he have another throne? I was just thinking of the Death Star too, because I refuse to think of T. Ross. Oh yeah, that throne. That throne looked fine. That throne looked comfy. The chair looked fine. I sat in a similar chair at yeah. similar celebration. It was fine. I try not to think of T. Ross. So yeah. when you said Palpatine's throne, my only thought was of Return of the Jedi. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> try to block that movie out. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Thrones can be comfortable. It's just when it's made out of swords, what can you expect? True. You just want to look cool, which it succeeds, especially in this show. Yeah. With the extra swords. I wonder if they do another show that's even farther back. That they just get, like, <laughs> just even more. Even more swords. <laughs> well, isn't like I feel like I've seen a drawing before of like how it like. Yeah, like, it's like fucking huge. Like, like it's like elevated. <laughs> yeah, it's elevated with swords. Yeah. I want to see that in live action. Right. The tower. The Tower of Swords. They used to call it the Iron Tower. Now it's just the throne because we can't climb it no more. They got rid of all the other swords because they're like, how the fuck do guards stand next to this thing? Right. It's very... Uh, it, you know, it's very difficult to have to walk around the, the sword pits. The sword moat. They have to take their dragon to get on top of the... <laughs> You gotta throw a hook up there. Yeah, fucking grapple. You, you sneeze a little too hard and you like... Or you like pass out in the chair and you just slide all the way down. I hope someone makes the grappling hook in this universe. They benefit from it greatly. Like just in general? Yeah, grappling hooks are great. I mean, yeah. They are pretty great. You can fucking be... Your dragon could be in there and you just shoot it and get pulled up to the dragon. Oh, you mean like, you mean like one that can shoot... Well, that's a grappling hook. I thought you meant one where you just, like, throw it. No, we're the same some Indiana Jones bullshit. Okay, so how, talking f- about fucking, like, how are they gonna get, like, a grappling hook that can, like, like shoot and, like, retract? I mean, gears exist. <laughs> I mean, but, like, for it to have enough power to, like, pull you. I mean, Batman has one. Yeah, do you know what Batman said in? Yeah, I mean, I'm saying they it's, can figure out a way. It's not fucking medieval times. <laughs> I think there's there's a grappling hook in Dishonored. That's second I mean, old they, times. That's, I think that's not medieval though. They have guns uh, in Dishonored. Yeah, <laughs> that's like 1700s. Not like that's medieval <laughs> to me. I mean, yeah, it is to us, but it's that's a very different period in time. Yeah, separated by many eras. Do you know what else has guns? I, think, I don't know history. I don't fucking know. All I know is that I don't think they have enough a powerful enough machine to pull you like that just in a little grappling hook. True. They don't even have elevators yet. No one has elevators. I Wait, I, I... Yeah, no, they don't. <laughs> but also magic exists in this world. Yes. They don't use it a lot. Mm-hmm. But it exists, and you could... I feel like in other fantasy settings you can have a magic grappling hook. True. Mel this, isn't, make them one. this isn't one of those series where magic is like used by a large portion of society. No. Not very, yet, very like very limited magic users. Yeah. Is it just Melisandre? I think so. I don't fucking know. Uh, no, that one lady probably uses magic. The um la... Oh, didn't the lady curse Daenerys? Yeah. The Dothraki lady? Yeah. Also, in the books, I don't remember her name, but, like, Catelyn Stark dies and then comes back to life and becomes, like, a ha- like an undead, like, corpse lady who's set on, like, killing someone to avenge her children. I don't know if her name is Lady Card Stark, or I don't remember what her name That's is. That's fucking but... metal. Yeah. They didn't cover that in the show. No. They, they didn't think it fit in the show, so they didn't put it That's in there. That's fair. Yeah, the show is more less magic. Yeah. Even though the antagonist is a man who can raise zombies and throws ice spears. <laughs> Makes sense. He's, he's the one with magic. Yeah. And Melisandre. You know... Do you think we'll see her? No. Well, she was around during this time. I mean, it'd be cool, but I don't think we will. I mean, yeah, I don't think there's a purpose, but she's probably somewhere. Yeah. We she's talk- old as fuck. I know the actress this week is like, would you like to see Melisandre in House of the Dragon? She's old. She could survive yeah. this long. Yeah. That would be cool. 
Maybe even if it's just like a little cameo. Yeah. And not even anything big. Or or maybe like Jakin Hagar. Ooh. The faceless man. I yeah. don't know how I don't know how aging for him oh, works. Yeah, they kind but... of have magic too. Yeah, there's a lot of magic. Game of Thrones has more magic than I think it does. Yeah. It just doesn't focus on the magic, I guess. No, it focuses on the po- politics. It focuses on the throne and the the quest for the throne. Politics. Intrigue. Woke moralists. <laughs> Woke moralists. Yeah. I don't know why that's been a theme of our recent episodes. We're just saying, making fun of... It's so easy. Yeah. Is the thing, you know? Yeah. 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 I think we covered it, though. Yeah. Not a ton happened in this episode, but enough. Good intrigue Good intrigue. I'm really excited for next week's episode. There's going to be some fallout for sure. Yeah. And not New Vegas. (laughs) Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So, like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Tell us what you thought of episode two, The Rogue Prince of House of the Dragon. And until next time.